Hello, everybody. Prince the Bear here, and we're back in Magic Kingdom because uh, we're hungry. I think we're gonna go Plaza at the Plaza. We want some grub, and the Plaza's up on the list. So, be sure to Magic Kingdom and subscribe. You heard the grub. This is the Sauvignon Blanc, one of two wines that are vegan that are available here at the Plaza. I do appreciate the fact that Magic Kingdom and all of their table service restaurants has at least one to two vegan wines, if not more. It's very um, fruity. You can really taste the grape to it. It's very bright and airy and extremely light, perfect for a hot day like today. I would give it a four and a half out of five white grapes. Poor princess, budgeted to channel glass. Maybe we should have two. Doesn't feel like enough for her. She wanted a bottle. I'd say maybe not, which you know. Who's turn it? A nice viscosity to it. Sort of stick to the tongue. Sort of fruit forward. Like a grape, apricot in there. But it's good. I was expecting like some harshness, but it's actually uh, it's got a nice touch of the palate in a very particular way. Give it a three and a half out of five pounds. It can be dangerous. It can be white, it can be green, but it's dangerous. So I feel like either this is a fail or the glass is too small. I feel like I did a pretty good job with this pour and the glass is just too small. I'm just gonna drink it out of, I, yeah, I'm just gonna drink it out of here so I don't get lipstick on Bear's uh, glass. Now it's empty. At least my globe isn't Bud Light. I give it that. It's like a two out of five for us. It's just, so, um, it needs, oh, um, it needs flavor. It's basically water, liquid bread water. Yes, yes, know what some of you are thinking. Yes, I got Nickelodeon Ultra by choice. Because my other option is Blue Moon, which you guys have already seen me drink here twice, I believe. And then, well, when your options you're left with are Bud Lighter Cigar City, of course I'm going to choose the Globe Ultra. I quite like the Globe Ultra. So calling it a superior light beer is not wrong. Especially when the bar is so low. It's everything it claims to be crisp, light, and smooth. It's not a yingling or it's a taste of crisp beer, but it'll get the job done. A lot better than Bud Light will. Three and a half out of five bars. We had the impossible chili burger the last time we came here. So here we have probably the most impossible to eat in one bite impossible burger I've probably ever seen. They have this um, homemade vegan chili that you can get as an appetizer as well that they put on top of an impossible patty which is freaking huge and then lettuce and mushrooms and there's some vegan cheese on there as well you can kind of see here on the sides that is a huge cross-section of impossible and friends four out of five impossible cows because it's a unique one it's a delicious one as it is right now i'm being okay, okay giving it a four out of five plus i'd order this and this now I'm getting the chili by itself. This chili app is way smaller than I expected it to be. It comes with some cashew cream. I'm just gonna dump the whole thing. And some lime. I doubt it's spicy to need lime, but I'm just gonna add it anyway because they gave it to me, so shouldn't I? And then do you mix it? 
do you mix all of your toppings into your food before you eat it or do you just eat it? I want you to tell me in the comments. Let's see how it tastes. on top of a burger, it's pretty delicious. I don't know if I would get this again. I, I kind of feel like it's better on the burger. This is just like, I don't know. It's got a lot of stuff going on, but it also doesn't. It doesn't make any sense. Like it's spicy and it's got flavor, but then you put it in your mouth and it tastes like water. give it three out of five for innovation. I don't think I would come back from this. I think I would rather have it on the burger. But if you don't want all meats, this is a good option. I just think it's going to be a little bit tiny and you're going to leave here hungry. You're going to need a Mickey pretzel. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is more like a cup of chili than a bowl of chili. Maybe uh, some of our server friends out there can educate me on proper bowl sizes of like soup but this to me looks like a cup and not a bowl but I could be wrong but I digress it is an appetizer maybe they should have a different portion size for a full on tray with the increased price and I don't think Disney has a problem charging some increased price for anything is that too much shade I could have ordered two it looks nice and hearty you got some bits of tomato in here some green onions there's cashew cream, celery, big chunks of tomato. anything. And this applies to chili. If you're gonna have a liquidy chili, it's basically a broth. It follows the same rule for me as soup and ramen. If the broth is trash, the meal is trash. The veggie is great. The beans great. The cashew cream is actually a nice surprise. But the liquid that they're sitting in holds nothing for flavor. So the only flavor you're getting is from the beans and the veggies. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, but when you combine the two, it sort of mutes the veggies. Uh, I can see why this is included on something rather as like a, a main meal itself. It just doesn't have that thing. If you like chili, I would probably still say don't eat this. Two out of five blocks. Monte Cristo sandwiches are on my very, very long list of weaknesses. They are decadent, American. I can't think of a more American sandwich than a Monte Cristo. Ham, cheese, uh, a couple other meats, deep fried in batter and then powdered with sugar with a uh, raspberry glaze on the side is heart attack territory. So I tried, at the very least, to sort of balance out what I got with a fruit plate. And honestly, I got a lot more fruit than I was expecting. I feel like fruit is not the popular choice. They gave me like a whole arm of, of uh, grapes here, and then like, it looks like almost a half of an apple sliced up, which is interesting. Maybe that wasn't the expected choice. Maybe they were a bit confused and why somebody would order Monte Cristo and fruit, it's like, Ordering large popcorn, three candies, and a hot dog in order to diet coke. But I digress. Let's uh, have a Monte Cristo the traditional way. I don't usually like raspberry jam on my on mine, like with the compote. I usually just like it by itself. It's crazy enough as is. But for you guys, I'm gonna give it a significant dip. It drips that strawberry, that raspberry glaze off. A nice viscosity to it, sticks to the sandwich.
It's a nice thick condensed bite. Or dense rather. The bite that you expect from Monte Cristo. The batter is nice and fluffy. Uh, it is extremely greasy. It probably could have stand into rest for a little bit after it was cut. For to drain some of that grease out. You know how I feel about excessive grease. Uh, the provolone is nice and cheesy. That cheese stretch to it. And um, the raspberry isn't extremely potent. It sticks to it well enough without being overpowering so it's not as sugary as I would expect it to be, which is a good thing. Overall, it's not a bad sandwich. I don't know if I would order it again. The Monte Cristo is not something I could eat even more than a couple times a year. Once a year is usually enough for me. I give it three and a half out of five stars. It's worth getting, but it wouldn't mean every time we come here. I know there are those of you that would say that the crust of a Monte Cristo is the best part. They're just too much grease in there for me. I literally just ate the innards and left the crust. And then devoured the grapes. The grapes were fun. Rating stands. Plaza Restaurant is, um, the one restaurant in Magic Kingdom I always feel is smaller than it looks instead of the other way around. Yeah, it should very much be Beaches and Cream. It's like old Beaches and Cream before they remodeled the uh, building. Food's decent. I don't That's hate right. it. That's I'm still hungry. Yeah. She had a, a cup. I still I still say it was a cup and not a bowl. I would have preferred to just, I guess I would have had to get an Impossible Burger, but like my chili was legitimate soup. I would not call it chili. It was veggies and beans in a broth that well, mostly tasted like water. Well, you like guys water. saw it. What do you guys think? Was it soup or was it actually chicken? I think it was soup. Let us know in the comments. Uh, it's always a hard time getting us to come back to Magic Kingdom, but if you guys want us to come back here, let's get a hundred likes. We'll do something else in Magic Kingdom. We got all these restaurants to go to. Come on, yes, people. Yes, just hit us up, and of course, we'll go. If there's anything else you can see us do, of course, that's also going to be a place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. And like this video. And comment. Because if you don't comment, Bear will become a Disney duck and just leave forever. No, I'll run this part. But you heard the girl.